fit. three-month update video for Jules and I don't know if we even did a one or two month I think we definitely did a one month yeah I think so maybe not a two month no at least we didn't do it like this but we just want to do a little video to uh, talk about the latest and greatest with her and things she's been doing and things that are kind of new the past even the past few days um, Anything you want to start with? Well, as you can see, she can actually really move. She really squirms now. That's like the past month squirming so much. One of us will wake up like during the night to go to the bathroom. Lately, of course, I can't do it because of the surgery. But like she'll be halfway down a crib. Like if we put her in straight, she might be like this. Sideways, coming down a bunch. So real oh, squirmy. Come on. We're trying to do this for you here. Say hi to everyone. Um, another thing that we've been working on, uh, obviously her head holding skills are a lot better now. She can look around and do all that fun stuff. But uh, in the morning past few days, even since I've been working from home, or lay her down, kind of hold her arms, like prop her up a little bit, and have her like actually pull herself up, kind of like that there, like from butt laying down. And then if I lay her, lay her down, like you can see her, like try to work oh my her way. Just up again. She's a hot mess tonight. Something else she's been doing a lot more of is spitting up way after she even ate. But as I was saying, she gets, she's getting really good at trying to pick herself up. She always wants to sit up now by herself, as you can kind of see here. Um, and as you can also hear, she's also getting very vocal. Uh, just in her overall sounds and her coos and her attempts at giggling. Is that so? Yeah. There, see? Where is you? Can you wave? Where is you? Can you wave? But uh, we also did get our ears pierced, as you can kind of see in the camera. As you might have saw from our earlier videos. She's doing really good with the earrings. Not pulling, not touching at all. Yeah, officially one week ago today. Yeah. So those earrings are one week old. Yeah. Is there a look nearby? She's also, hey. he finally agrees now, but I mean, you can see from an earlier video that I was saying she was teething and it's like full fledged, she's constantly trying to shove those fists in her mouth. Yeah. She's drooling everywhere. Yeah. I always have her hands in her mouth. We bought her, uh, some teething rings, two different pacifiers. This one's the Dr. Brown's, it's like a teething transition pacifier, they call it. Um, and she has like a big strawberry looking one. I got yeah, he finally realized that she was actually teething last Friday when my cousin said her son had his first tooth at three months. Then he actually believed that it could happen this Yeah, way. I gave in. I gave in. She's definitely more interactive. Now she's uh, definitely smiling a lot, a lot more frequent, you could say. Um, even in the morning when one of us goes to get out of the crib, like, you know, the she sees you, her face lights up, she has a little smile. Even if you pull the pacifier out, like she's a big, you know, smile on her face, she's all excited. Yeah, she'll follow you as you talk to her with her, like her actual eyes. Even when my parents had her sleep over last Monday and Tuesday, my dad kept saying, how this is just so neat. Yeah. She's like, really, she knows who I am now. I'm convinced. Um, what else? Yeah, her smiling, her focus. Uh, she's getting real grabby with her hands. Like just before we started filming, she's trying to 
to bed Dixie over here. Um, but she's grabbing her blankies, you know, trying to pull them up towards her. Um, it's a good transition to her sleeping habits. What she does now is we'll usually put her to bed around, we were averaging around 11.30 for the most part. Yeah. And uh, she goes down pretty easily. We wait till she's like half asleep. We pop her in and she sleeps till usually around 7 or 8. And then feed her, cheat her diaper. She's up for maybe a half hour, if that. And then she's gone for another three, four hours. So she's getting definitely getting a lot of sleep. A lot of her um, clothes, like especially like her cozy little sleepers, no longer fit. The three month ones are like too snug a bug. Not all of them, some of them. So she is in some like three to six month clothing now, which like two weeks ago, right before Valentine's Day, we tried on a few like heart looking Valentine outfits and they were way too big. So she's definitely in the past like two weeks. Had a little growth spur or something. Yeah. Um, we had to measure her. We, she was her next appointment isn't for another month, right? Well, March. March. Um, so we got to measure her and weigh her and do her chalkboard and see what she, where she's at for this month. I'm thinking she's around 12. Eh, maybe even a little more now. I don't know. It's possible. She's definitely 12. At least. I haven't been able to pick her up since actually last Monday. It will be a week. Um, good. Yeah, when you pick her up now, like you just kind of throw her on your shoulder a little bit. And she kind of just hangs out. Waits for you to walk around. Um... And she's really, really close to giggling. She's so close. She kind of makes some sounds. She's trying. She tries to mimic what you do with your mouth and everything. Oh, she'll do like if you're sticking your tongue out, if you're playing with your mouth, she will definitely try her hardest to mimic you. The so one morning, actually last Monday, when I was woke her up to change her and everything. She literally, for about two minutes, was just following my mouth. Whatever I did, she was trying to do. And that's definitely really cool. Her hair has actually gotten, like, really long on top. I know it kind of looks like she doesn't really have much hair. She still has a mohawk, though. Oh, yeah. And she has a little rat tail in the back. A little patch of hair back here. Um... Ooh. Tummy time, not necessarily on the map, but if they lay her on my chest or lay her on her boppy. She's, she is doing a lot better with that, for the most part. She's able to lift up more. Well, I used to do around. tummy time with the mat multiple times in a day, but I can't do that right now, so. But even like when we were in bed this morning, we had her laying down and everything. Mm -hmm. You get tired? Or her latest thing now is when she gets tired, she's ready to fall asleep, she'll put her little hands up over her eyes like this. And she kind of block everything out. And be all dramatic. She's still drinking four ounces mostly. Yeah, that kind of leveled off. Yeah. Even now and then she might not even want four. Yeah, the past almost two nights it'd be like, she'll drink like two ounces here and then, you know, she'll be good for a few hours and all right, maybe I'll try another two ounces. But even this morning, I think she only did three ounces when she woke up after her, her first nap. Yeah. She's still trying to sit herself up. Go ahead, here. She's just so good. Like, <laughs> when my parents had her that Monday night into Wednesday, literally all I kept hearing from my mom was, you, you don't realize what an incredible baby you two have. My mom's like, you were so hard. And she's like, Kim was a really good baby, my younger sister. She's like, but Jules is amazing. Yeah, even her her late night crying fits um, have become less frequent. It used to be almost every night. She had like a witching hour. But that kind of stopped. But what happens now is that I've seen that change. If we go to feed her and we don't feed her quick enough, she gets really upset. She's screaming her head off. But the bottle doesn't soothe her right away, so she has to like, calm herself down and then she'll go back to the bottle. And if you got to pull the bottle away to adjust a bib or wipe her mouth, all hell breaks loose at that point. And she throws another hissy fit. 
like what I was saying before, she's definitely spitting up way more frequent now. Like it doesn't have to be during feeding, it can be two hours later. Like, I don't know if it's a part of like the whole teething thing, but constantly it's just wet, like all up here. She actually had a little like dress over this before, but it was just covered in, yeah. Covered in like drool and some spit up and we just, we just tossed it to the side and just out of this onesie. But I think on that note, I think Miss Jules is saying, okay guys, enough. <laughs> I've had enough. But all right, yep, that's gonna be her, her little three month update. You know, we'll try to do another one of these for four months. Can't lose me four months. And today wasn't three months. Three months was on the 25th. Yes, it was, but with her surgery and recovery, it's just, it's been a little rough to get it all set up, so we just do our regular videos. But, all right, okay, we'll stop it. But, all right, thanks for watching this video, watching her little checkup here. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs up yet? No. Uh, leave a comment below. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those fun things. And uh, see, we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Jules. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Jules. Hi. <laughs>